Hello guys. Welcome to Love is Vacation's YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Now, I want to give you information about 6 Top Rated Tourist Attractions in Florence Number 6 San Lorenzo The Medici commissioned the best talent for the family church and burial chapels, Brunelleschi for the church and Michelangelo for the chapel intended to memorialize their most illustrious princes. Both artists died before finishing the work, but Brunelleschi's church was completed according to his plans. Michelangelo's chapel, called the New Sacristy, was not, in fact, it was never completed at all. But what he did finish is considered in one of the world's crowning achievements in marble sculpture. As you tour the church, the Old Sacristy, the New Sacristy, the Prince's Chapel and the Lorenzana Library, you'll find the works of other Renaissance masters, including Donato and Lippi. Number 5 Ponte Vecchio the Ponte Vecchio may well be the most widely recognized icon of Florence, and its graceful arches topped by a jumble of shops is most certainly one of the city's prettiest scenes. The bridge has traditionally been the home for the shops of Florence's talented goldsmiths, and a stroll across it still shows a dazzling array of fine jewelry. But most tourists don't realize that another set of treasures hides above their heads. The purpose of the bridge, of course, was to link the two sides of the Arno, and the Medici needed to cross frequently between their offices in the Palazzo Vecchio and their apartments in the Pitti Palace. So they commissioned the architect Vasari to build a passageway, officially called the Percurso del Principe, Passageway of the Prince, but now more often known as the Corridoio Vasariano, Vasari Corridor. You can see its line of evenly matched windows above the shops. It's not just a hallway, lining its walls is a priceless collection of portraits, mostly self-portraits, by artists that include Rembrandt, Leonardo da Vinci, Raphael, Michelangelo, and Velasquez. Number 4 Uffizi Palace and Gallery Few would argue the Uffizi's place among the handful of world's top art museums. Its collections are simply staggering in their diversity and quality, and even if art is not your main interest, you should see the highlights of the paintings here. You'll come away understanding a lot more of how Florence's 14th to 16th century painters changed the face of Western art, as you see the transition from the stilted Byzantine images to the lifelike figures and landscapes of the Renaissance artists. The vast building stretching along the river was one more of the Medici palaces but was intended not as a residence, but to house governmental offices, scientific studies, and part of their growing art collection. One of its loveliest spaces, the Octagonal Tribuna, was commissioned especially to display the most prized paintings and jewels of Francesco I. de' Medici. Number 3 Palazzo Vecchio, Palazzo della Signoria History, art, and power echo in the opulent rooms and grand galleries of this fortress-like palace in the center of Florence. From here, the city, Republic was ruled, and its powerful Medici family commissioned the leading artists and architects of the day to design and decorate their offices and apartments. Be sure to sign up early for one of the free tours, so you'll get to see some of the secret passages the Medici used to move among the rooms, return in the evening, save your ticket, to climb to the roof for sunset views of the city. Number 2 Battistero di San Giovanni, Baptistry of St. John From any angle, inside or out, the 12th century octagonal baptistry is a consummate work of art. Its marble facade, the intricate mosaics of its interior, and the artworks it holds all merit a place high on your list. But the magnificent bronze panels that Guy Murdy created for the doors facing the cathedral trump them all. Nowhere has bronze been worked with such exquisite expression as in these gates of paradise. For a closer look, and to see some of the treasures that have been made for the baptistry, visit the Museo dell'Opera del Duomo, the cathedral's museum. Number 1 Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore and Piazza Duomo Piazza Duomo and the group of buildings that form its cathedral complex gather some of Italy's greatest artistic treasures into one relatively small area. As you tour the baptistry, the bell tower, the cathedral, and its museum, you'll see some of the best-known masterpieces of art and architecture by the greatest artists of the Italian Renaissance, Guiberti, Brunelleschi, Donato, Giotto, and Michelangelo. Begin by walking around the square to admire the intricate inlaid marble exteriors, then step inside each one to look more closely at the stained glass works of art that greet you wherever you look. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.